presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, the Reverend Chalmers was brought to Burawani by his daughter, Lynn, who made a desperate effort to get her father to Shanghai, where he could be nursed by Mrs. Chalmers. Upon their arrival, Patrick O'Shaughnessy Flynn gave out the good news that a boat was leaving the next day for Shanghai. Meanwhile, the plane carrying Jungle Jim, Kolo, and Shanghai Lil was dropping swiftly toward the ocean after being fired on by a mysterious pursuit plane bearing the sign of the Purple Triangle. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. As Shanghai Lil's plane continues to spin crazily toward the ocean, the ship bearing the mysterious purple triangle roars on its way northward. Suddenly, Lil pulls her plane out of the spin. And Jungle Jim gets his wind back. Nice work, Lil. You certainly pulled us out of that spin. Just as nice as I put us into it? Put us into it? What do you mean? Just what I said. I figured there was only one way to throw our purple triangle friends off the trail. By making them think they had put us out of commission. So I went into that spin purpose. Well, I'll be... You sure had me fooled, too. That's an achievement, fooling the brilliant Jungle Jim Bradley. Lay off the sarcasm. Oh, I wasn't trying to be sarcastic, Jim. I really think I deserve a pat on the back for that, too. Well, never mind about that. We've got something more important to do. Get to the American Consul at Shanghai. Yes, I know. There's a little matter to be taken care of before we go there. There is? What? Getting rid of that purple triangle plane permanently. Why waste time chasing it? We've thrown it off our trail. Come on, let's get on our way to Shanghai. We've thrown it off our trail, yes. But you don't realize they'll head for the masked prince to make their report. Masked prince? Who's he? He's the leader of the Purple Triangle, men. And that plane must never get to headquarters to report they've seen us. Why not? They'd only report we'd fallen into the ocean. The masked prince must never learn that you're on your way to Shanghai. Things would be too simple for him if they knew exactly where you were. We must keep the masked prince guessing all the time. Maybe you're right, Lil. There's no maybe about it. Say, you think you know it all, don't you? Well, I know all about these purple triangle men, Jim. Okay, you're the pilot. I guess there's nothing to do but sit tight and stick with you. That's the way to talk, Jim. I knew you'd be reasonable. How's that native boy back there? Out like a light. That spin was too much for him. He's all in a heap. Boy, it's a good thing his safety belt was fastened. I said he was scared. But he'll come out of it soon. Jim... I'm going to climb above the purple triangle plane without the pilot seeing us. And then... Yes, Lil, and then? You just wait and see. In the stateroom of the Shanghai steamer, we find Lynn Chalmers standing by the Reverend who had been carried on board and placed in his berth by his friends Bill Wyman and Patrick O'Shaughnessy Flynn. A doctor has just finished his examination. Will Dad live, Doctor? He's out of danger, but he needs plenty of rest. I'll look in on him later. Are you comfortable, Dad? Yes, my dear. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Bill, for everything. Oh, don't mention it, Reverend. Ah, sure, it is nothing we've done at all at all, Reverend. Faith, and we'd have been glad to have buried you. Oh, oh, oh that is, uh, of course, if you'd have passed away. Well, that's a pleasant thing to say to a sick man. Ain't it, though? <laughs> Do be forgiving me, Reverend. It's me big fandle mouth. As me old father used to be saying, every time I opens me mouth, I put me foot in it. Oh, I'm sure Dad understands. You do, don't you, Dad? Yes, of course, Lynn, dear. There isn't a man down here in the jungle country who has a bigger, not a finer heart than our good friend here, Patrick O'Shaughnessy Flynn. Many thanks for the kind words, Reverend, and I wish you the same. It sure is hard to say goodbye to you and Miss Lynn. We'll miss you around the old town. We're going to miss you and Burwani. Faith and I hope to be seeing your sweet, smiling face around here again before long, Lynn. I'm hoping you come back immediately, if not sooner. Well, Dad's got to get well first. He's just got to. Well, getting him out of this climate is the very thing that'll start him getting well, Lynn. 
The jungle is no place for a man who... Uh, uh, begging your pardon, Reverend, who don't keep himself vaccinated like with a drop of something or other. Sales preservers, there's the one and two. Oh, come on, Bill, or we'll be carried off to the land of the lemon faces. Not if I can help it. Well, goodbye, Lynn. Oh, I'm coming up on deck with you, Pat. Are you now? Well, that's fine. Oh, goodbye, Reverend. The best of everything to you. Thanks, Bill. The same to you. God bless you, my boy. Come along, Bill. Coming, Pat. Coming. I'll be right back, Dad. As soon as we sail. All right, my dear. Hey, you. Hi, sir. Are these the right stairs to get us to the gangplank? Right, sir. Pat, I came out with you and Mr. Wyman because I wanted to ask you about Jim. I remember you said he'd left for Shanghai. How did he leave? This is the first boat in weeks. Well, uh, uh, you see, Lynn, now Quit I... stalling, Pat. It's better Miss Lynn knows. Knows what? Oh, do tell me quickly. Well, Jim started off for Shanghai in Lily DeVril's airplane. You mean he borrowed it from her? Well, uh, no, uh, not exactly. You see, Miss Lynn, Shanghai Lil offered to fly Jim herself. Oh. And he accepted her invitation. Oh, that woman's got him in her clutches again. Well, that's the way we look at it, too, Lynn. Uh, Bill here tells me they were followed by a second plane with purple triangles on it. So it looks like our friend Jim has stuck his nose right into a trap. Where's Kolu? Why didn't he stop Jim? Kolu's in the plane with Jim. They're both at Shanghai Lil's mercy. Mercy? That woman hasn't got any. Oh, poor Jim. What can we do to save him? There's nothing to do, no, but hope and pray, Lynn. I shan't stop doing either until I know Jim's all right. Yeah, me neither. I can't wait until Jim sends me a bit of a line telling me he's safe and sound. I can't understand why Jim was in such a hurry to leave Borwani. He never told Dad or me he intended going to Shanghai. He didn't know it himself until the night before last, Lynn. Now, I can't tell you why, uh, but it's terrible important that Jim gets to Shanghai safe and sound and quick. And he said Lil promised to see to that. I hope this is one time she keeps her word. Yeah, so do we. But there's an old saying about leopards being unable to change their spots. I have my doubts about that woman. Holy St. Patrick. Oh, come along, Bill. If we don't get ashore now, we'll have to swim for it. Yeah, that's more truth than poetry. Well, goodbye, Miss Lynn. I hope to see you back here soon. Thank you, Mr. Wyman. Goodbye, Pat. I can't tell you how grateful I am to you for what you've done for me and Dad. As I said before, it was nothing at all at all. Goodbye and good luck to you. Pat, come on. They're taking in the gangplank. Uh, coming right with you, Bill. Goodbye, Lynn. Goodbye. Uh, say hello to Jim for me when you see him in Shanghai. But, Pat, I don't know where to find him in Shanghai. Well, I'm not sure, mind you, but you might be able to locate him through the American Consul. The American Consul? I remember that. While Lynn Chalmers bids goodbye to her friends, Shanghai Lil zooms skyward with the intention of climbing above the mysterious purple triangle plane unnoticed. There's the purple triangle scout. See him? Yeah, but I hope he doesn't see us. So do I. I'd better climb a little higher. Juan Jim. What happened? Well, you're back with us, are you, Colo? Yes, Mr. Juan Jim. Where me be? When the plane began to fall, you fainted. All same like that. How do you feel now? All right, Juan Jim. Where we go now? We're going on top in sky. Juan, you mean we die? No, no. We're going on top in sky. Over other sca air wagons. Look, look there. Oh. Jim, we haven't been sighted yet? Nope. Luck's with us so far, Lil. Luck? What do you mean, luck? That's due to skillful piloting. Have it your own way. You will anyway. Jim, grab the stick and hold it steady a minute, will you? Okay. Got it? Yeah, I've got it. What are you doing up there? You just hold that stick and keep it steady. Never mind about me. You're mounting a machine gun. You bet I am. I have this plane equipped for every emergency, and this is an emergency. Just wait until I get the machine gun fastened to the mountain. There. Now give me the stick again. Got it, Lil? Okay, Jim, you can let go of the stick now. But be sure your safety belts are fastened. Here's where we stop that thing.
What happened, Twan Jim? Little shooting that plane down. The way they tried to send us down. I've missed. I'm going to try it again. Here we go. Air wagon. I can't see a thing on this side, Cole. What's happened? Air wagon, yellow swans go down all same like fire. Jim, I got them. There they go. They'll never report to the mass spin. Good work, Lil. Now, what's to prevent us from getting to Shanghai? Not a thing, and here we go. Next stop, Shanghai. On the boat carrying the Reverend Chalmers and his daughter, the door of the missionary's cabin burst open to admit Lynn in a state of great excitement. Daddy! Daddy! Lynn, my darling, what's the matter? Oh, Dad, Jim is dead. Jim is dead? Yes. Oh, what are you saying? How do you know that? I just heard it. Well, how? I've been up on deck getting some air before turning in, and as I passed by cabin 307... Yes, yes. I, I heard a voice say, I tell you, Lynn, who we can't fail. We can overthrow the government in two weeks. Now that Jungle Jim is dead. Lin! Who is this Lin Po? How do they know Jim? I saw the man who had cabin 307 at dinner. Yes? He's a big, fat Chinese. He must be Lin Po. He's terribly repulsive looking. Yes, but the, how could Jim be mixed up with him? I don't know. Pat Flynn said Jim had to be in Shanghai on some secret mission. Yes? This Lin Po must have known it. And that Shanghai Lil was working for him. Yes, Lin, my dear, but if Jungle Jim is dead, how did he die? What else did this Chinese say? That's all I heard, Dad. Then I came straight down here. Oh, it's too bad you didn't wait to hear more. I was so stunned I could hardly think, Dad. But now that I've got control of myself, I'm going back and find out more about what's happened to Jim. No, no, Lin, no, you mustn't. You mustn't eavesdrop. Lin, Lin! But Dad, I've got to know about Jungle Jim. <laughs> Who is the mysterious Lin Poo, and what will the Reverend's daughter learn outside cabin 307? The adventures you have just heard were dramatized from incidents pictured in the Comic Weekly, the big Comic Weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. There is an unusual feature presented in the Comic Weekly each week. It is called Heroes of American History and picturizes incidents in the careers of great men and women in the story of our country. You will also find Bringing Up Father, Skippy, the Little King, Barney Google, Flash Gordon, the Cats and Yammer Kids, and many, many others. Don't forget our date next week. Same time, same station for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. <laughs>